Hello and good morning, everyone. My name is Rachel Baker, Forest Program Director for Washington Environmental Council. Welcome to the sixth annual Carbon Friendly Forestry Conference. Although we miss uh, seeing your beautiful faces in person, we're excited to have you here today and tomorrow. Uh, if you run into any issues over the next two days or have questions about the conference, please email the address that's pinned in the chat box to the right of the webinar screen. I'm excited that we have a series of great panels based out over the next two days. We'll drop a link into uh, the full agenda into the chat so you have it all on hand. As a reminder, today's sessions will cover returning good fire to the ecosystems of the West at 9.30 a.m., followed by evolving management of state lands for public benefit at 11.30 a.m., climate tests for durable wood products at 2 p.m., and the role of forests in hydrologic resilience at 3.30 p.m. We'll close out day one with remarks by Washington State's Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz. Tomorrow, we'll start with a session on tribal carbon offset projects at 9 a.m. in Washington's Climate Commitment Act, followed by a panel on extended harvest rotations and a new model to help us understand the potential carbon and harvest volume benefits at 11 a.m. Then a conversation about community forests in Washington at 1 p.m. And to finish out the day, the Pacific Northwest debut of the Climate Smart Wood Group. Lastly, for those of you in the Seattle area, uh, we invite you to join us for an in-person uh, happy hour on Thursday evening after the conference wraps up. That will be at Optimism Brewing. Uh, quick housekeeping notes before we start. Um, keep in mind that throughout the day, any messages you send in the public chat box will be visible to all attendees. And if you'd like to submit any questions to the speakers, please do so in the Q&A tab, uh, also on the right of the webinar screen. We'll be sorting through questions and presenting them to the speakers at the end of each presentation. Okay, so logistics aside, let's get started. Um, today, I'm honored to have Washington Environmental Council CEO, Alyssa Macy, here to open the conference. Alyssa, I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, Rachel. It's Ukti Wigwa. My name is Alyssa Macy, and I'm the CEO of Washington Environmental Council. I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone joining us for the sixth annual Carbon Friendly Forest Conference. We are so glad to see both returning and new faces. We're excited that you all recognize the importance of gathering to have an ongoing conversation as important and integral to the urgent needs of addressing climate change. You'll see that reflected in the program for the next two days. Panels about carbon offsets, climate smart forestry around the world, building with climate smart wood, growing forests longer to store more carbon. But you'll also notice that our program centers other values as well. Healing our planet must, of course, address carbon inputs, but it must also address the many cultural, social, and economic issues that have created this crisis. Forests play a part in all the various spheres of this intricate landscape. We can't lose sight of this bigger picture. I believe that we are all connected to forests, whether we depend on them, we live near them, live within them, or live with them. Our connection to forests may be varied, but none less important than the other. This year, we're offering sessions that challenge us to reimagine forestry, to reevaluate past assumptions, and to brainstorm new solutions about wildfire as an instrument of ecological and cultural renewal, about the impact that forest management has on salmon habitat, and about forest managed by local communities about shifting frameworks to manage state lands for diverse goals. The work highlighted during the next two days is just a sample of the innovation and the collaboration happening every day across Washington. It also represents the leadership of local communities and tribal nations that are creating their own visions of forest land management. As you learn about these stories and successes, I hope that you'll feel the same sense of optimism and pride in community that the team at WEC does. We are seeing remarkable developments that will have profound implications for forests. In July, the state Supreme Court ruled unanimously in a suit brought by WEC and partners. The court held that state forest lands need not be managed solely for profit. Other benefits, such as cultural and ecological value, can be considered. This creates an unprecedented opportunity for innovation. You'll hear more about that today in our panel about state lands. 
In January 2023, Washington will begin to implement the Climate Commitment Act, the nation's most ambitious cap and invest program. Tomorrow, you'll hear about how the carbon offsets program within the CCA creates opportunities to manage forests in new ways. We are also excited about the architecture, engineering, and construction sector um, and how they begin to emphasize sourcing wood that is harvested in ways that supports healthy forests and communities. Today and tomorrow, you'll hear about new ways of understanding wood supply change and new innovation, innovations to support transformation. The state legislature is also taking up this issue with the Buy Clean, Buy Fair legislation that would provide the transparency needed to ethically source building materials. Even though much work remains to be done, we have victories to celebrate. We hope these two days will be full of learning and sharing and imagining. Thank you so much for joining us today and tomorrow. We're so happy you're here. Thanks so much, Alyssa. And with that, we'll get started with our first session, Reigniting the Flame, Returning Good Fire to the West Forest Ecosystems. Please return to the virtual conference lobby and then select the link to that session, which will start in just a few minutes at 9.30. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much. <laughs>